Expert in U.S.-China relations Patricia Kim has said that the U.S.-China relations are at one of the lowest points in history and there's a lot of work to be done to stabilize the relationship. Commenting ahead of the upcoming meeting between President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi, the expert said, I think there is a recognition on both sides that it's not going to be possible to negotiate away all the differences that exist or the points of friction. But we have seen positive momentum in recent weeks. This is based on a recognition in both Washington and Beijing that without stabilizing the U.S.-China relationship, without better channels of communication, there's a real chance that the two sides could stumble into a conflict which would not be in the interests of anyone involved. I think if the U.S. and China fail to work out a functional relationship, the fact is that many global challenges will go neglected. Whether we're talking about climate change or regional conflicts like the wars going on in the Middle East or Ukraine. If the two sides aren't talking and on stable terms, coordinating on such issues are impossible, the expert said. I think there is a recognition that we need to set up guardrails for this relationship so that we are communicating openly, um, so that there could be any clarification of, of um, intentions or, or, or uh, misperceptions, and so that the two sides have mechanisms in place so that when they stumble into a crisis, whether in the Taiwan Strait or in the South China Sea, where Chinese and U.S. forces and the forces of U.S. allies are uh, operating in close proximity to one another, there needs to be a way to communicate with each other. And so I think this meeting is really about starting to build those muscles of diplomatic engagement so that we could prevent the worst case outcome in U.S.-China relations. I think if the U.S. and China fail to work out a functional relationship, the fact is that many global challenges will go ne neglected, whether we're talking about climate change or regional conflicts like the wars going on in the Middle East or Ukraine. Uh, if the two sides aren't talking and on stable terms, coordinating on such issues are impossible. The U.S. and China have been talking for several months about this meeting. It is, I'm impressed that uh, the Chinese uh, still look like they really they want to show up and and reach agreements on some important issues even though the biden administration has continued to go forth on imposing a variety of restrictions related to technology export controls and semiconductors and other industries all of those things could have been showstoppers and led xi jinping to cancel but it looks like he's going to show up anyway and that they're going to get these outcomes they both come into this looking to uh a stabilize things and I think we'll actually see some deliverables that come out of the meeting uh, reflecting the the, the genuine motive high motivations of both sides so we're really at a turning point where it's possible that we might be able to stabilize this relationship and stop the downward spiral which is important bilaterally and globally as well